Okay, friends. In this video, we are going to draw the Adaposaurus level forty from Jurassic World game. So let's start drawing. So I am going to use a pencil, mechanical pencil, and eraser. First, we'll draw a oval for the head of the Adaposaurus, and you should draw like this, and a big oval for the body, just like this. And let's draw a tail for our Edaphosaurus like that, and just like that. Let's continue connection with the body. So it came nice, the body and head. So let's draw its hands by putting some lines, crossed lines for the hand, and let's draw some bolding for its hand. outside of the lines like this and let's draw it's i don't know it's like skin uh, the lizards have now underneath its head okay that's what it is and let's draw for its leg a big oval not very big for the back legs hind legs i think yes okay and and let's draw its Sail, I think that's yes, it is a sail. So let's draw it sail and erase a bit over there. And let's start drawing. So this is our very basic outline for our head officers. So let's put just like that and a curve, and let's put its mouth. Like that inside the oval, which we drawn as an outline, and some shapes like that little bit shaped. And for its head, let's draw a bit some spikes, and let's draw its eye. First, let's draw it, and inside that we'll draw its eye. So just like this, let's zoom in so you can see. And that's its eye. Let's draw like that and do some shading over it. Just like that. This is a pencil drawing, so you need to shade a lot. So just like that. And then let's draw some teeth. Actually, its mouth is nearly closed. And you can draw side of it that round. I don't know what that is. Some spikes near it. And draw some scales and some shading. Near the mouth edge corner, yes, and draw the um, I think that's the hole, not the nose. I don't know what that is. Okay, um, and let's draw some more shading. So please subscribe. Let's continue. So let's draw the nostril. And just like that and some shading so and some shading for the jaw bit thick shading under jaw jaw because its skin is very very uh, black in the photo I can say like some spikes on it and do it very very dark shading in it just like that very very dark nearly black as much as your pencil as much as your pencil can do so color it fully black that skin fully black and some spikes on it that should also be black and here's our basic head so we drawn the head and the skin so let's continue with the front legs and back okay Let's draw some spikes on its back. Its back has many spikes. You can say draw like the outline and draw many spikes on it. This is a level 48 officer, so it has many spikes on its back and the sail. So let's draw some scales underneath the spikes. And some shading that's the stripes so don't do very very dark 
but a bit dark and color there with very very light gray so that's its color and with some darkest so now I raise the legs outline just like that now it's zoomed out and let's draw a line again for the leg and let's draw the leg like that and then like that let's go with the outline you can see the outline a bit and let's draw some of those nails and three nails does three fingers and some of those wrinkles you can see and some and the top also some wrinkles you need scales you need to put many scales this dino has many many scales so don't forget to put those scales on just like that many scales on its leg and then shade a bit and shade for its leg also so it looks like lines so that will be its leg so we completed a front leg so let's go to a, a front leg which is on the back let's continue drawing the second leg of the, our adaphosaurus let's do some dark shading because it's on the back so it will be very very dark so you don't need some details on it and that's all some smudging put the stripes a bit thicker even darker like that and then let's connect to it the back legs hind legs the line and let's draw the hind leg just like that following the outline and draw some nails on it uh, four nails four fingers the color set some and let's put some wrinkles on the uh, fingers and let's draw its foot just like that and let's put some scales on it so put my scales like that I pause the video because it will take very much time like the front leg put some scales and a bit of shading do some shading in nearly the back leg you should um, back of the leg you need to do dark shading because that its shadow will be on the bo body so let's color a bit more so and some erasing and some shading like that and let's do some more shading for the leg just like that and then let's draw the back leg another leg which is in the back the hind legs that side leg okay it's in the back so it is a bit dull so uh, do it with full shading dark shading and let's draw some more spikes on its back and let's draw some more stripes on its back and just like that from the next stripe we are going to leave only first we will draw the stripes the all the stripes the adafasaurus hat has so let's do some thicker shading for the stripes so, so we can differentiate from the body so the stripes should not be very straight it should be like oval so it can tell the 3d shape of the body just like that let's do some more and for the body's color we need to do only half other half it's going to be with scales so let's only do half just like that and then again and then again and let's do some more spikes just like that and more spikes that spikes till its tail end so let's draw its sail 
Now before that, see, I left half space. So let's draw its sail. But its sail has spikes. So I need to put like that. Following the outline, but leaving a bit space and putting a spike on it extra from the outline. Just like that. And let's put some more lines and spikes. So just like that and then some more. Just like that and then another one. And then another one. Just like that. So we're nearly done. We need to do some shading bits on it. So let's do some stripes. Its sail also has many spikes, stripes on it. And near the stripes. Now spikes. Huh. On every spike side, we are going to put like that. In the starting and ending of every spike, we are going to put a stripe. Just like that. And then smaller ones don't need it. Starting ones. And let's color. To differentiate, we are going to do the stripes a bit darker. Nope. Yes, I think yes. Yes, no. Not like that. It has some drawing on it, just like that. Following every spike. So we're going to draw like that. And do that part very thick coloring. And the stripes will be same color as the sail. Okay. And let's color it with some dark color. But don't color the spikes also. Leave the spikes so you can differentiate the spikes in the body. Like that. Color it fully. Like that. It takes time but you can do it. Just like that. Color it again like that. We nearly done. Half done. You need to draw its tail and finish this sail. And the head of us will be done. So let's color it. Continue coloring. So this head of in Jurassic World game is a carnivore. But really head of is an herbivore. Okay. But in real head of is a herbivore. This is just a okay, fact. And do some normal coloring on its sail. After you've done that. Like that. So it should look like that. And let's draw some more shading. Color some more. Like that and the spikes also. We should the spikes which are on the sail. So let's color that also. And let's do some of those spikes in the dinosaur so we need to color it carefully so only it will look like a spike just like that and do some smudging on it with your hand or tool you can do with anything and let's draw some scales on the half space we left so the adapters are this very very scaly dancer so we need to draw many and many scales but not much as the scorpius that it does Many scales, it's full of a scale. Bunch of scales, not bunch of it. it has many scales, but let's draw it. The scales. Um, we need to draw many more scales. The white area should be covered with all the scales, okay? Just like that. And your drawing will look perfect. So it takes time, but it's worthy. It's worthy. So. Let's do some more scales near its leg. It's very very difficult but but finally it will be very very nice with these scales. Does some more shading for its legs so it looks like a 3D more 3D. So uh, please subscribe and let's continue. Oh the tip has broke. Let's do it again and let's draw its tail with its outline completely 
the outline and let's draw some more spikes i told you it has fully spikes on its back and tail and a sail too this is a newly released carnivore in jwtg jurassic world game it's released i think a few months ago one or two months ago or two three months ago i think yes the march uh, yes march matches that time it was released the last ending of march matches that means i think two months ago i think yes it was two months ago and let's draw it spikes no stripes okay a uh, newly released dance in jwtg is the last of you need to do that also uh, let's do full shading its tail it's gonna be easy because it be fully shaded that's all like that and we need to add some shading so like that and next we need to do the shadow that gives the main 3d effect in our dinosaur so after doing the shadow it will be only 3d and looks more realistic okay let's do that La, draw some shadow lines for the tail the shadow only says how thick the tail is so it should start very thin in the uh, last tip of the tail and goes a bit thick and let's draw the body shadow and for the front leg we need to draw the shadow for the front leg exceptional like that connecting with the body so it looks more 3d you can see it's shadow it looks like a real shadow falling on the that side and you know i think we need to define the head's shadow a bit i think because it is good so let's erase a bit and let's refine it do some shading like that and we're done going to be done and it's done okay so we need to sign out drawing jf and let's put the year first oh not the date it should be the year so subscribe our channel and let's put the year so the date so it's gonna be here and let's done thank you for watching